scientists have found out how much money people want for an ideal life. The authors of this large study received evidence that not every one of us dreams of becoming a billionaire, and the established opinion about the greed of people is a myth. One of the fundamental concepts in economics is the limited resources, that is, the gap between the unlimited needs of a person and the scarcity of resources that are available to him at any particular moment. For example, by following this concept, we all constantly want more money, even when we are rich or aware that there are no ways to achieve wealth. But a study by psychologists from the University of Bath, Somerset, UK, showed that this principle applies only to a minority and is far from universal. While most people have a certain amount of money, albeit a significant one, the results of the work are published in the journal Nature Sustainability. Scientists conducted a survey among 7,860 residents of 33 countries on six continents to understand how much money people want for an absolutely perfect life and satisfaction of desires. Since in reality it is almost impossible to get rich just like that, you need, for example, either to work hard, or take risks and invest, or successfully marry, receive an inheritance, or conduct criminal activities. The study participants had to imagine that they would win any requested amount in the lottery, starting from $10,000. The authors of the work suggested that, according to the concept of limited resources, the subjects will always choose the maximum possible amount of money in this study $100 billion. This is enough to become the richest on the planet. However, this option was preferred only by 8%, China, to 39%, Indonesia, of residents of the countries where the survey was conducted. In 86% of states, people mostly wanted to win $10 million or less. In sum, including Russia, only 11% of Russians dreamed of $100 billion overnight, and India, leaned toward the up to $1 million option. According to the researchers, the answers did not depend on how developed the country in which the participant lived was, gender, level of education and socioeconomic status. But people with unlimited needs tended to be younger, more urban, valued power, success and independence, lived in countries with a greater bias toward collectivism and a distance of power, unacceptable degree of inequality in the distribution of rights. Comment. Ed. Psychologists summed up. Stay tuned for more updates.